for season two. Oh, who is the, who's coming back and who we won't see in this room next week? <laughs> well, not everybody makes it, but I can't tell you. I mean, it's... I'll it's, tell you, we have to kill you. It's, it's bad. Let's just put it that way. It's not good for everybody. Um, it's sort of like a second apocalypse hits at the beginning of the uh, season. It kind of is a game changer for everybody, so... Season two will seem, uh, you know, uh, more of the same, but very different, I think, from season one. Better it's like, in every way. Yeah, it's like uh, season one on steroids. Totally. Um, That's a great way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah, just every, more of everything that you love from season one. Zombies on steroids? More zombies. More <laughs> yeah, well, we got, we got we have all kinds of zombies coming this season. So. Crazy different. Yeah. yeah, we have like uh, alien zombies, seaweed zombies, uh, blaster zombies, and late, uh, like presidential zombies. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's okay. So, is that okay to say that? That's just like a hint. Um, God, it's just so many. It's just every episode is like it introduces a new breed of zombie. That's just that can do something that different that they aren't that expecting. Do, yeah, and... something different. Some, they move different. They, uh, and of course, you know, Spokane is just, we're just spilling them out. They just keep coming. These extras just keep signing up to hang out with us. And yeah, we have a group of like, there's probably like 15 or 20 guys that come back constantly yeah. now. And there's like six or eight of them have like turned into full stunt people. For yeah, us I've killed one guy at least 10 times. No, maybe not 10, but at least four times. So they just put this scar on the other side, put a wig on him, change him up a little bit. You know, use a lot of them. What do you think it is about the post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic genre that really pulls people in? Because it's such a, a popular thing these days, and especially shows like yours, it's just uh, well, really grabbing people. We actually spent a lot of time thinking about that. Like, what is the attraction? Zombies used to just be like the this ugly stepchild of the horror genre, in a way. And, and now it's like, you know, and I think it's because it resonates with everybody's unconscious that the... I think the world feels like something bad might be coming, and we sort of, zombies are a stand-in for, like, what's the worst that could happen? Um, and it almost seems like one of those disasters, if you, you know, tuned in CNN and all of a sudden they said, you know, uh, the living dead are running the streets in New York City, you'd go, yeah, okay, that's happening now, you know? um, So I think it's, I think it really resonates with, you know, uh, uh, people and stands in for kind of a, you know, a worldwide concern about what's happening in the world right now and where people go with that sort of energy. And, um. It's certainly an escape for a lot of people. I mean, you know, some people just come up and just say, dude, thank you for making me laugh on Friday nights. Thank you for just making us laugh. Which, that, that's our goal, that's, that's, really. Yeah, it's like, it's entertainment. You know, yeah, it's like 44 minutes of fun. Forget everything else and just watch some crazy zombie stuff going on. and and that we're doing it for fun and the audience is having a good time with it. And, you know, when we see like that we have probably our worldwide audience is six, eight million people by the time we're done airing and yeah. that's an hour of entertainment for all the, for an hour they got to forget about, you know, yeah. all the shit going on in the world and just enjoy what we're up to in Spokane, so. Yeah. Did you guys decide to make it a, a fun zombie show? Which is something I never thought I would say, but in response to all the serious, you know, our, takes on our goal from the beginning was to put the fun back in zombies. That was our that's our goal is to and make to call them what they are. You know, zombies. Oh. Nobody else is really calling them zombies. Right, right. And, and our characters have seen zombie movies and know what you know what I'm saying. It's like in our world, it's it's sort of like the whole world kind of went. Well, yeah, that's what. Because part of my premise is it is kind of with. In the show is that it's a, a self-fulfilling prophecy that the the audience wanted zombies so bad that we got them. Uh, we got the apocalypse we we wanted um, in the end, and uh, um, that's what I think part of the attraction of the show is. And, uh, but we definitely are out to to entertain and have fun with it, and and just make that people feel like you know. Um, the, the people behind the camera and the ca everybody must be having fun making this show because it's insane. Yeah. It's just the stuff that goes on is just crazy. Um, and, and we blow a lot of takes from laughing. So, um, but at the same time, it's also a very dangerous show and, and there's a lot of really emotional episodes yeah. coming up. And, um, you know, I think there's, uh, uh, people will be surprised at how, you know, We'll have you laughing one minute and scared the next minute and tearing up over, you know, 
a really dramatic scene because you care about these characters. These guys are all so great together as an ensemble. And, you know, in the audience, we sort of put them in with our group so they feel like they're part of the team, um, you know, on the mission. And uh, uh, that's what we're trying to make you feel like when you're watching the show. You're bursting through that door with us. So what can we expect? No one's safe, but who, who can we meet this, this season? Oh, who do we meet this season? Well, we've got a new, we got a new cast member, right? That right, joins. Matt Cedeno is joining, uh, joins our team as a, uh, a bounty hunter who's after Murphy, who then sort of um, sees that he's not going to, when he realizes what Murphy is and what he's capable of, that he can't get him to California on his own for the bounty, so he's going to go along with our guys uh, and help them out. We also... Uh, we have Emilio Rivera from Sons of Anarchy, That's great. who's fantastic, who's a big heavy this season. Um, he's one of the leaders of the Zeta Cartel, which is the only form of government that's left um, in season two. William Sadler is, is on board. Um, yeah, yeah, William Sadler comes in to do... He's, do great. he's the guy from uh, Shawshank Redemption, he did The Green Mile. Wonderful character. A lot of, lot of really good guest cast coming this season. Sketchy and Skeezy come back. Yeah, Sketchy and Skeezy come back from the gun show in episode. Way. In a big way, I should going say. Down the, going down the that Mississippi River. Um, yeah. It'll be a very, that's a really funny episode Great that's episode. coming up. Um, we've got like alien zombies. What do we got? A lot of other stuff coming up. Um, we go to the Grand Canyon at some point this season and um, meet some Indian tribes who are, have another way of trying to avoid the apocalypse, you know, and see it as sort of the white man's apocalypse. Um, so, yeah, this season gets gets crazy. Yeah, the stakes are definitely higher for everybody this season. So is Citizen Z, is he still going to be off on his own, or is he... Uh... Yeah, but he's he, but we, we mess with him a lot this season, too. He He's no longer safe, you know, one of the, the, the nukes are headed towards him, too. Um, and he finds himself, he gets to do some kick-ass zombie fighting this season. So, um, yeah, his situation will change a lot. Um, nobody will know where we're going with his character at, at the end from the beginning. I still don't even know I'm on the show. I don't know. Where, where's, where's he going? <laughs> well, talking You've already been blown out, shot. Like, what can they do to you next? No, uh, yeah, that's part of the fun <laughs> is just to write ourselves into a corner where it's like, how the hell are they going to get out of this? You know, and... Then we figure out a way to get out of it that's funny and makes some sense. Yeah. And, uh, so you'll see in the opening of this season, like you know, how everybody somehow avoids the nukes or doesn't, uh, depending on um, which character you're following. So now you, you keep killing off like the big name actors that you you've been hiring to. We love to do that. So yeah. if we see a new big name actor hired on, we should assume they maybe. I wouldn't assume. You just never know what we're up to. I like to mess with the audience, really. Yeah. So the more you know, the we'll we'll play with your. We're not above like you know setting you up. Oh, that's what they're gonna do, and then you know start making a left turn at the last minute. Yeah. Who lives? Who dies? That's that's the fun of the episodes. I think. You know. Are we picking things up right where we left? Yes, yeah, the missiles are coming down right at the opening of the show. Yeah, you'll see what what happens to the world again. So uh, it's, it's sort of like, what could, how could it get worse? That's that's what we're doing, you know. That's where we're going with it. And uh, If you liked episode one, you're going to love episode two. That's what I can tell you for sure. As soon as I saw, started to read the episodes, I'm going, oh. God, we were going there? You know, just like... No, I think the first seven, our first seven episodes, we're, we're shooting so like episode good. eight right now, so but the, the first seven episodes are, just, I think, really going to blow people. Away. They'll be really surprised. And, like, this little show is just, like, getting pretty out of control and intense. It's going to go through the roof. I, t- I just predict it. I just think it's going to just... Other than the nukes that are on their way, I mean, we you, they ran into the group ran into some very bad people out there. So are we going to see any of the groups or any other? Oh yeah, oh, they run into yes. tons of bad people. Other than okay. the, you know, Z's. Well, you know, everybody's after Murphy because they're sort of like in in, in season two, the world knows who like, that he's out there somewhere. There's somebody called the Murphy the that's Murphy. that's got the cure, um, and everybody wants him. Um, so he's you know. Um, if it wasn't hard enough before, now they're avoiding, you know, they have to avoid everybody that they run into. And, and we run into, you know, bandits and, and uh, um, more sort of cult-like situations and, uh, you know, um, 
all kinds of strange groups of people. Yeah, Murphy's a slippery bastard this season. We just can't keep our hands on him. He's always next scene. He's gone. Like, where did he go? Constantly chasing after the Murphy. And we've got you know the Zetas are after them, and and uh, um, they they run into a zombie slave town and uh, going down the Mississippi and. Um, so it gets pretty, it gets pretty out of control. Lots of different. Every week it's something different, you know. So um, that's that's the best thing about it. But well, we're still we're still on mission. You know, the mission is still to get to the CDC labs, you know, with the and get the cure and save the world and all that. So the mission remains the same. But we're just having to go around a different way to get there. Right. Yeah. They almost get to California and have to turn around and go back. So we'll you know we'll see how it uh, how it all plays out. I wonder when you were when you were developing the the Z's, did you um, purposely make them all different sizes? It was yeah. like the first time I've ever seen that. So I thought there was maybe a zombie diet, and everybody was always like, oh right, right, so skinny and <laughs> emaciated. Well, because we do, you know, kind of our thing. We have a lot of fresh zombies, so it's sort of you know, and the fresher they are, the faster they are. That's kind of our rule of thumb. So there's you know, zombies from the beginning of the apocalypse, and but the the new fresh ones are all kinds of types and. Uh, and uh, the ones that are radiated from the nuclear blast in the opening, have a, they're a whole different type of zombie you've never seen before that kind of thinks a little bit. And, yeah, they're, uh, uh, they move, you know, super fast and are super strong and, uh, uh, yeah, more, more dangerous, I think, than uh, any of the zombies we've had before. Just One more question, please. Um, can you talk about the the possibility of Murphy having a child now? Or? Well, you know, he and my girl had some fun last season, um, and we'll see the ramifications of that and the complications that that brings. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of great episodes coming up where uh, we'll see what happens with the, uh, the what the result of the tryst Murphy had with my girl from last season. But she does come back, and she's Sarah Coast. She's fantastic. Yeah, it's like that'll be a couple episodes people talk about. <laughs>